Hey, good morning, Jack. How's hey, it going? Doing okay, buddy. How are you? Glad you can fit it in today. And yeah. Really busy. Hey, I appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Ah, uh, so you said you had something you wanted to show me today, something yeah. you wanted to teach me how to do. Oh, remember the gold uh, testing kit we talked about? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is this is a gold testing kit. This is it? Yeah. And you get different types of acid. Uh, they actually make it down to 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, and 24 karat gold. But traditionally, you only need uh, two or three of them. Okay, well, we got uh, 10K, 14K, and 18K. Yeah, and that's, that's fine. I see you brought in a, a ring here as well. Yeah, what, what, what I wanted you to do, this ring you've got right here, this here, nice, this is stamped 14 karat gold, and then I wanted you to use yours. Okay, I'm going to have to take off my wedding ring here. This better be real gold or else my wife's in trouble. <laughs> and uh, they should watch out when they're out there dealing in gold. It's really a tricky thing. So this lion's ring you brought, I think this is gold, uh, Jack, because it is stamped. Uh, 14k right on there. Uh, do we still need to test this? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, very few things won't be stamped. You will find items that aren't stamped. Like sometimes you'll find a prospector's button, or maybe you'll find something really, really old. Old or, stuff. Uh, I know a guy that found some stuff that was uh, gold. That they uh, brought it in. They brought it in as little statues, and it was like smuggled. Really? Yeah. They don't. Of course, they don't list that. They so, even paint it. <laughs> So the real old stuff might be gold, but it's not marked gold. That's true. Does it say, you know, 14 karat gold or 10 karat gold? It may just be gold. Some of the older jewelry, custom made, uh, they, a lot of people didn't uh, mark that either. Like if they made it for their wife or their girlfriend or for their wife and girlfriend, they didn't mark it. Okay. <laughs> well, let me, uh, let me zoom in on this test kit and you can walk me through how to test this stuff out, all right? Yeah. Thanks. Sure. All right, Jack, so I got the two rings here. I got uh, yours, your, uh, is that a lion? It is. Lion ring, and then I got my wedding ring here. Um, both of these are stamped 14K, so. Um, True. Do I just want to, I see one of these acids is marked uh, 14K. Do I just put the acid right no, on, no, on no. the ring? No, uh, no, Take your touchstone right here and, and scratch it on the top here real close. Okay. In a line back and forth. Just scratch this? Yeah. It's not going to hurt the ring, is it? No. Okay. I, I would do it on, on something delicate. I'd do it uh, on a side where you can't see it. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it back down here. Shouldn't be too visible. No. You can't hurt that anyway. That'd be for scrap anyway. Yeah. Right. Scratch the nice, uh, nice solid line here. It does. It looks good. Okay. Um, now, should I do the same with my ring? Yeah, right below it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got yeah. Uh, two nice solid lines. Yes, they look the same. Yeah, so they're probably probably both the same. And uh, no, this one is the ring up here. Right. That one is your ring. Right. I'll spin now, this around so yeah. that they're lined up. Now, if you get more gold, and sometimes you'll get a lot of it, like remember that one time I had that little baggie full of gold? Yeah. Probably 50, 60, 80 pieces. What you do is you do a bunch of little lines here with each one, then you lay the jewelry out in line. So you know which one, like you say that the third one isn't gold, you could pull it out. You could look at which one disappeared or... Oh, okay. You know, so you save some of the save some of the acid, you don't waste yeah. it. And, and you save time, you do eight or ten pieces at once. Gotcha, okay. And now, those are both Mark, mark 14, am I right? Correct. Yeah. Well, it's just like silver or platinum. Now, when you put the acid on it, uh, if you put uh, 14 on it, uh, go ahead and try 14. Okay. Put, put a drop on each one instead of letting the drop roll down. I usually put a drop up here and then I just tip it and let it roll down, but this will be a little easier. Whoa. Oh, is that yours? No, that, oh. that's your uh, lion. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> well, that lion yeah. is lion. It's not 14 karat. Really? So even though it's stamped 14K, it looks like gold, it's not gold? Vince, you'll see a lot of that out there. you got to be real careful, especially when you're buying, even in a swap meet or a flea market. For all that matter, in an antique store, a lot of people don't know. Really? But, uh, see what yours looks like. Okay, I'll put another drop right here. Looks like my wife's okay. It's it's not disappearing, sure Jack. Looks good. So, um, so we know that... Yours is not gold because it disappeared. 
Mine is gold because, because it stays still there. solid. Now, take the 10 karat gold and put it right on here because that for mark 14, we know it's not. We know that it's counterfeit. But when you put that on there, that 10 karat gold, it'll disappear. And as you get used to it, it may disappear a little slower because the acid's weaker. See it? Yeah, it it lasted about uh, two seconds. Yeah, well. But it's pretty much gone. Gone now, Jack. I think that ring you got is uh, it's garbage. Well, you got to sell it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of it out there. You've got to be real careful. Uh, silver uh, is usually Mark Sterling. You know, that's been the law for many years. It was Mark Gorham had some stuff with a, like a little lion on it facing to the right and the left. And then they had Sterling to Gorham was one of the first. Uh, they use sterling and you know and like the little lion but i suppose the same thing could happen with that if it's mark sterling it might be uh fake that's right better to test it that's right and the funny thing is is a lot of the stuff that's not marked it's really unusual so you need to test it too like you're liable to get an old pin from the 1800s or 1700s or older if you're lucky and that may be made out of gold or silver or platinum and never marked so you want to know and you can usually tell by looking that it's pretty good quality but this tells you for sure. Oh. See, now you know it's not 10. Of course, uh, it's not 8 or 6 or 4 either. <laughs> well, bottom line is you got to be careful. Don't believe the markings. Right. Test it yourself. And the 22 carat. Yes. Now, you use that like if you've got something stamped 18 carat gold, then the 22 will make it dissolve, then you go to the 18. You just keep going down until you find out what you got or what you don't have. Gotcha. Okay, so there's this is not your full kit then. There's some other bottles you didn't bring with? Exactly right. There's some for silver and some for gold. As a matter of fact, that one kit, if you look on the site, it says uh, Tools of the Trade. Oh, yeah, that's the one you gave me that link for? That's that the one that you use? That is nice. That's okay. nice. And that's a good price. I don't think they're going to beat the price on that. Yeah, I think it's under 13 bucks. So it is. you, you get it's all thing. six bottles plus the stone, and you can test everything you find. The only thing you don't get with it, Vince, uh, is the gold. <laughs> you gotta find that all right jack thanks a lot for walking us through this can i leave you with an old prospector's uh thought absolutely uh do you know where your gold is where you find it that's what they always say you say where's the gold at and you say gold is where you find it <laughs> and it's true all right thanks a lot buddy thank you take care